This cool. division was designed to accommodate the parents, anyone that's 14 years old or older that has not done Ninja before or that has watched it, never done a competition, hasn't been training, maybe has trained on some other sort of fitness. You could be in any shape. You should be able to try every obstacle and complete most of them. And the goal really is to give a space for the beginners, give a space for the parents. Also might be students, college students, people that are like, I'm not, a, you know, I'm not an expert. I can do this. It's a great beginner comp for anyone that's 14 plus. But how it works is you get a point every obstacle you complete and the prize for first place, second and third will go to whoever has the most points. There's a tie on points, then it's the fastest time second and the time breaks the tie for, for every placement. So let me show you what, what this course is gonna be. This is the exact same course as the seven to nine year old course, except there are a few adjustments and this video is showing those adjustments. First, you start on this rubber mat and you'll make your way across these obstacles to get your point on that blue block that starts in the next lane where the rings are at. Here's a, a, a POV demo version. You can use the boomerang if you'd like to or jump across here. Recording. And then you have a drop down to an angled step. Mm -hmm. And right here is where your first point is. If you touch the ground, or the truss before then, you don't get your point. Next, you get these ring swings to the black block right there for your second point. Pretty self-explanatory, don't use the straps. Don't touch the ground or the black mat. Swinging across the rings, point number two right there. Next, or slide down rather on this ring slider to get your next point on the bouncy mat platform here. Okay, do not touch the wall, do not touch the truss. You can use these blocks to balance. And remember, I will give you a little beta, they are not fixed. Okay, right here, some of you will wanna to touch the truss, but we're saying no, no truss, only balance across this pipe here, okay? You get this point all the way up here. If you fall down before you get here, you work pretty hard on your balance and you wouldn't get the point. Make sure you get all the way up on here for this point. There you go. That is your fourth point. Next, you've got this pipe here that's about four feet, three and a half feet tall, something like that from this mat. You can use it if you want to swing on it to get to the next block here. And you don't have to have this unless you need it. Okay, that'll be extra. Give you a side view. Boom, all right? So you can jump, use that pipe if you want to get here, or you don't have to, you can just jump there. Then we'll give you this ring here. And you will swing across from this platform to that block over there. Big swing, super fun, right? And from here, you've got the board to balance on, and you are, this is the one place you are allowed to use the truss pads. It's right here, right here. If you'd like to, you can use them. We also have this ring here that you can use. So I'll step back so you can see it. Going from this point, start, this is the end of the last platform and the start of the next point, uh, obstacle. Balance here, make your way down the pipe, right? And to clarify, we're not gonna have this ring here. That's for the younger division, so you've gotta use just the pipe to get down to here. And then that truss. You're allowed to use the truss there. I'm gonna say this obstacle, you can use the truss here to get onto this so that it's clean. This whole obstacle, you can use the truss. That one and those two, okay? This point goes from there to here. Using this platform or another one similar to it and getting up to the monkey bars, all right? You have one, two, three, two foot gaps. Not too terribly difficult. Three two foot gaps, you don't have to use them all, but you would have to start from wherever the platform is to get to this angle step for this point right here. Angle steps, the slack line, and notice this is a pretty big gap to jump. Some of you might be able to do it, but if you are unable to, remember you're allowed to use the slack line, hands and feet, all is good, your whole body's good on this obstacle. Nothing's off limits for yourself, just don't touch the carpet. From here, you get your first point by going across the balance and then across the spider jump to get to there, okay? Spider jump can be done with hands and feet, um, there's no rules on this, just don't touch the carpet. Get to that block. Once you get to this block, you will continue through here. You're allowed to touch the carpet 
and you're going to start right here on this once you step onto this you can't step off of it until you complete the point or you do not get it you're allowed to use the wall wall traverse pipes here to get across you can use any of these pipes to get from here to here you don't have to use them if you think you can do it without it but utilize these pipes trick is to get your feet on the wall and heads up where the white is it's more slippery than where the black paint is okay once once you start this point here you get across here and the balance to the angle step here where we resume the video you get that point as well and the barrel swings to get to here for your next point you can use the straps with your hands feet this is a full body obstacle so hands and feet however you'd like to get to that right this uh this starting block it's not that far but it's a tr kind of a tricky obstacle all right next and at this point you have the rope that you can swing on the special delivery you can use and this one this is probably the most difficult on this course and once you get onto this block you get this point all right some people won't be able to if you fail it you just move to the next one okay so let's say you fall or you decide i'm skipping that whatever you move to here and this final point goes from this block on the block across these little pads we might have some other balance here but you're just covering here without touching the ground you'll then reach out and grab the bungee ring or jump to it and then get to the balance here you can swing and that's the pov version once you get here you get that point check it out swinging from there you using the balance to get here once you get here you can run up the warped wall so last three points options is this lane with this special delivery the that tray to the block this little stepping stone squares with the bungee swing to the balance to here that's point and your last point is the warp wall you can use any warp wall you want and then touch the buzzer when you get up there okay for this division it's beginner you can use any wall any slot you can use your foot on the wall and grab up here however you want we will have the buzzer on top of this one most likely possibly on top of this one you'll see when you get here We'll also do a quick walkthrough when you get here so you can see what the official course is. All right, looking forward to it. You guys are great.